What is good, everybody? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton here. Um, welcome to the first episode of Forrest Talks. Um, I came to this idea to do this literally today. I've done like podcast videos and stuff like that on my channel before, and recently I've been trying to do. Um, hold on, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit because I don't want my voice to be too, you know. Oh shit, that's a little too loud. It's loud as fuck. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm I'm trying to give y'all a good introduction. Please excuse this mess of a crib. You know what I'm saying? Just don't pay attention to any of that. You're here for me. You understand? Like you're here for me. Just just pay attention to me. But um, like I was saying, uh. This is the first episode of Forest Talks. I've done podcasts before and like different things on my YouTube, as you guys know, who's been following me for a long time. But anybody who hasn't watched a YouTube video of mine or is this your first time watching me, um, I am a what they would call it fashion influencer or I don't know. I take pics on Instagram of me and getting fly and in fly fits. And um, also spread positivity, uh, anything I'm thinking about, my mindset that I feel like other people can benefit from. I post about it. Um, I don't know. I'm just a human being that's on the Internet. That's how I look at it. Um, But today's topic that I wanted to start with, with this thing, um, is I'm trying to think like, was that that was a terrible intro, but we're we're gonna get better as we make more of these videos. Uh, I just got to make sure I get the intros right. Uh, my intro will probably be better next time. And also, I won't be editing these videos at all. So any like thing that I do, if I put the mic down to go use the bathroom or something or anything, y'all gonna have it in here. So just get your popcorn, sit down, relax, talk to me. Uh, saying rock with me, we in my messy ass crib, but that's cool. Uh, I'm going to be dropping these videos every Monday and Thursday at uh, 5 p.m. my time. And my time is in L.A., so I'm in Los Angeles, California. So it's 5 p.m. my time. So wherever you live, uh, whatever that time is. I know, like, on the East Coast, it's three hours. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8. So that would be 8 p.m. on the East Coast side, Midwest, all that stuff. I don't really know how that works. Y'all have to figure that out on your own. Um, But yeah, I'm going to drop these videos every Monday and Thursday at 5 p.m. L.A. time. Just so I can, everybody can be looking forward to getting a video out of me or looking forward to seeing something. I feel like this is more um, manageable, you know what I'm saying? Instead of me trying to force a video because I'm like, I'm going to make a video every day. Or I'm trying to just force something. It's like, okay, I could... Get on here Mondays and Thursdays and have a conversation with y'all about a specific topic or anything that's on my mind. And as you can see in the title, today's video is talking about how people who thrift dress better than anybody else who just like buys clothes. And I want to give a disclaimer. I love designer clothes. I love name brand clothing. I own designer pieces myself. So I don't want to get that misconstrued. I wear these pieces. I love these pieces. I go into these stores and look at these pieces. So this is not a shitting on people who buy designer clothes and shit like that because I wear that stuff too. I mix and match, you know what I'm saying? But I come from a thrift culture like I was thrifting a lot this hoodie I have on is technically thrifted because I copped it from a guy who thrifts clothes and then I bought it from his website these shorts I have on are thrifted this hat was gifted to me but yeah I come from the thrifting culture so I notice that when I go thrifting I see a lot of people with swag bro like and just me personally I also, y'all going to get a lot of, like, background noises. I live downtown in L.A., so it's just noisy and, met, like, it's just a lot going on. But um, come, me personally, coming from thrifting, I noticed what it has done to my style, and I noticed that it forced me to have to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Where if 
a brand that you know of drops a shirt, a hoodie or something like that. They have like a model wearing it or all type of stuff. So you kind of get a gist of how it's supposed to be worn and you kind of base it off of that. But when you're thrifting, you don't really have anything to go off. You're going into this big ass place where it's just... It's like a scavenger hunt and you're hoping to find something cool and it forces you to be like, okay, I like this shirt. What could I do with this? You know what I'm saying? Like if you go into a thrift store for like $50, you can come out with some 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 heat, but you got to get experimental and creative with it and it forces you to think a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like people who thrift are a lot more better dressed and have like a, a better sense of self identity when it comes to styling and stuff like that like they have their own personal style because it's like okay how can I make these pieces me you know what I'm saying because anybody could wear this so you could what that's the crazy thing about going to the thrift store you could go in the thrift and the same hoodie that me and you are looking at we have different like ideals about it like we have I could look like somebody could have saw this hoodie in the thrift store and been like, mm, I don't want that. That's trash. But when I walk into a thrift, if I would have saw this, I would have been like, this shit is fire. You know what I'm saying? So it's all on the eyes of the beholder or whatever that damn saying is. But yeah, I do. It forces you to really like think for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of fashion culture is p- other people thinking for you type shit. Like, they're telling you this is what's hot. This is what's in. This is how you're supposed to wear it. This goes with this. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that it's cool. Like I said, I'm super into fat. Like I'm obsessed with clothes and fashion. So it's plus and minuses to all of this stuff. So that's why this is not a like sh- one is better or I'm shitting on the other one. Not a lot of people are able to afford designer brands or some people just aren't really interested in designer brands and stuff like that. But I do notice that they try to show you how things are supposed to be worn or people are trying to keep up with trends and all this other stuff. And me personally, I've never, ever, I right hand to God, I have never sat down and thought about an outfit that I want to put on and my mindset was, what's in right now? What's the popular thing to wear? Let me wear what's popular. I've never had that thought process while getting dressed, bro. I always just be like, what do I want to wear? What do I like? Ooh, like that's always been my thing when I'm wearing clothes. And I feel like that's how it should always, always, always always be when you're getting dressed and when you're putting pieces together you should always think about what you like you should never be thinking about hmm what is hot right now what is popular and I know Instagram culture and likes and repost and all that other stuff kind of puts you in a world where you're like damn I want to post this one fit pic, but I know it ain't going to get no likes because it ain't the popular thing that's going on. It ain't the new Balenci. It ain't the new whatever else people be wearing. So I know that can kind of like fuck your whole head up and be like, damn, I don't know what to do. But don't think about that. What do you want to wear? Literally, that's all it should be. What do you want to wear and what do you like? And that's what should go on. So back to me talking about like why I feel like thrift people who thrift um, just have more style. And please, please work with me. I have like ADHD and shit like that. So I will go on different tangents and talk about different shit besides the topic that is on the title. Um, so yeah, I'm just, this is the first video. So y'all about to see just how my brain works and how I do. And hopefully this isn't too all over the place for you. I know some people probably done already left the video and it's just like, whatever. Um, I know some people that's probably going to put this video as just like some background noise to talk about. And if I say something that strikes them while they're doing something, then they'll tune back in and shit like that. And I know it's some people that's just going to watch it all throughout the whole thing. And either way, as long as you got this joint record, like you're watching it or you got it on something, I appreciate you, man. So just bear with me. You know what I'm saying? So um, like I said, I feel like people who thrift have more style because of all the reasons that I just was rambling about. Like when I go into thrift stores, I always see different type of people, bro. Like it's so many different styles of people 
in the thrift store. You would go in there and you would just be looking at people. This is just how I be. I go in there and I'm just looking around like, damn, like, it's so many different people in here. Like, it's so many different people in the thrift store, bro. Like, you would look at somebody fit and be like, damn, I wouldn't wear that, but that looks fire on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you go into a designer store, most of the time it's not really that many people in it, but... Yeah, I'm not like most of the time it's really not that many people in designer stores when you go in there. It's like a few people grabbing something or they're working with a client or something like that. So it doesn't allow people to I don't know if it's because maybe number one, a lot of people just can't afford that stuff or whatever. Or I don't know what it is. But if you don't know, you can go into these designer stores and not have to buy anything. You can go in here and just look around and touch fabrics and stuff you can even go in here and try on these clothes that's what i'd be doing bro like i'm not even gonna lie some pieces i'm just not bro i'm not spending a thousand dollars on certain pieces i'm not gonna lie though it's some jeans and shit that i'd be wanting to buy that i'd be like mm, i want to buy this so bad but i'll go into some of these designer stores and i'll literally just be like hey can i try this on y'all got this in my size y'all got this in my size with no intentions on buying it at all and i'll be thinking the people who are about to get these sizes for me i think they know too i'm not about to buy this shit but it wouldn't be good customer service if you don't allow me to try these clothes on because you really don't know if i'm gonna buy it or not it doesn't matter what i look like so I do encourage y'all to go into these designer stores and try clothes on and stuff. Just play around in that shit. Just turn that shit into your playground. That's what the fuck I do. But when you go into designer stores, not really that many people in there. So you're not really seeing what it is. And then the people that are in there, you can look at their outfits and stuff like that. And it just it's never really inspiring. I'm not going to lie. The people, it's never really inspiring. Like I said, no diss to designer clothes stores because I love designer clothes i do i love designer clothes but when you go into a thrift store it's always 20 plus people in there in and coming in and out trying on clothes looking on the same rack as you it, it, it's just an amazing place to be you can even have conversations with people in there like i'm a very i'm an introvert bro but if somebody has on a fire outfit or they have something on that i like or they're looking at a piece that i think is fire i will literally talk to them i'll be like dad that's a hard piece or i like them pants you got on or i like those shoes or your style i fuck with your style like that's where i'm not as much of an introvert as I normally am. Now, sometimes I am in there not talking to nobody. Like, I'll just be in there minding my business. But the opportunity to speak to people and be more social is there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, the thrift store is just always full of people who just have style, bro. And I feel like it just puts people in that I have to figure this out on my own mindset. Like, you can't, like, that's why some people don't go thrifting because it's certain people that I talk to and they tell me why they don't go thrifting and it's because it's overwhelming. They're like, man, I go in there and it's overwhelming. There's just too much stuff in there. I don't feel like looking through it. Also, another excuse is I never can find nothing when I'm going in there. You're just not looking long enough. I just feel like people who go in the thrift store and don't find anything, you're either one, not looking long enough. You're not really looking at every single piece. Number two, you're only going to one thrift store. You need to go to... You can't just go to one thrift store and just stop there, bro. Like, there's a high possibility you go in there and find one or zero pieces. There is a high possibility, but you can't stop there. You can't allow that to discourage you on finding some hard shit. You can't allow that to discourage you because if that store doesn't have anything, you just might look up and find another piece at the next one you go to. And that's the rewarding thing about thrifting too. I've been out all day long and I done went to five thrift stores and out of four of those, I didn't find anything. But on that fifth store, I found a real good hoodie I liked or I found some real good jeans or a shirt that I liked. I feel accomplished. I'm not mad at all of those four thrift stores that I just went to and ain't find nothing. I'm super excited right now because I feel like it was just like a whole scavenger hunt, a whole journey. And I finally found what I was looking for or I finally found the thing that I wanted. It, it's, it's, not, it's not a game for the week. You know what I'm saying? Thrifting is not a weak-minded game. It isn't at all. I'm not even going to lie. You got to be strong. You got to really love this shit. You got to rip. 
big emphasis on really love loving that shit, bro. Because if you don't love thrifting, you're going to be overwhelmed when you walk in the store. You're going to be discouraged after you don't find shit after being in there. Like, you're going to give up easily. But those who stick it through and stay focused, it's always rewarding at the end of the day. But, yeah, like... Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm. I, I, if you thrift, it's like a if you know, you know thing. Like if you thrift, you know the type of people who thrift, and you know the type of shit they be putting on. And it's a plus when you could, like I said, when you could mix the designer in with the thrifted stuff. That is a super plus, bro. Like that's such a plus because now you about to put this expensive ass piece on with these thirty dollar jeans you just found, and then some like, bro. That shit crazy. And then when you're shopping at like these consignment stores like Wasteland or Second Street or any other like consignment store, a lot of people don't really call that thrifting because it's kind of, cur- excuse me, it's kind of curated. But I still consider that thrifting. So when you're going into these consignment stores or stuff like that, you're still thrifting because you don't know what you're going to find in there. Okay, they might have curated, curated it, but... You still don't know what you're going to go in there and find. And the better thing about that is you can find a designer piece for way less. So if it was some jeans that's originally $1,000 from the brand, you can go into these stores and find them for 500 200 300 Like, way cheaper than that. So that's even more of a plus. So I don't see why people don't call that thrifting. Um, I mean, I get it, but I just feel like that's thrifting as well. But it's such a plus to this shit, bro. Like, if you could find a hard-ass piece for love. Like, we all are looking for a bargain. At the end of the day, no matter what it is, clothes, anything, you're always looking for a a bargain. And you're looking for a good bang for your buck, bro. So, if you could find something hard in the thrift store that's normally $1,000 and you get it for $200, like, come on, bro. Like, you can't tell me that that's not a plus. Like, I just, I just do, I encourage anybody who don't thrift or who has like a negative outlook on it, I do encourage you to just try it. You know what I'm saying? Just try it. Go. You can't go into it and be like, I better find something. You got to go into it like, I'm about to enjoy this. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's another thing that thrifting does. It kind of like, it, 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 it changes your mindset on life. At least it did for me. I don't know. Like, I love turning shit into a life lesson or something, but. Thrifting kind of puts you in that world. Like I said, if you go into it with no expectations and just I'm going to have fun with this, when you go into it like that, it's it's a fun experience. And if you do that with life, it's like, all right, I'm just going to enjoy life and not have any expectations out of life. It, because I know a lot of us, we have these expectations, uh, time limits and all this other stuff. And when it doesn't happen the way we want it to happen, it, when it doesn't happen at the time frame we wanted it to happen, we get mad, we get discouraged, we don't want to do this shit no more. All of that stuff applies to life. So I feel like thrifting kind of helped me fix my mindset on life too. I think it helped me without me even knowing because when you go, I've gone into the thrift store like, I better find this or I better find that. And then when I don't find it, I'm pissed off and I'm mad and I feel like I had an unsuccessful thrift day. But when I go in there and be like, hey, I'm just up for whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to just have fun in here. Like, I'll go in the thrift store and just fucking find a skateboard and ride around on a skateboard until they tell me to get off the skateboard and just enjoy it. Like, bro, that shit is fun. So I feel like you should just try it if you don't thrift, bro. But people who thrift definitely... Definitely. Going back to the topic of the video, um, people who thrift definitely have more swag. I mean, look at me. <laughs> no, not to blow my own horn or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. Like, if you think I got swag, man, this shit came from thrifting, bro. Like, this shit really came from thrifting and trying shit out. Like, and that's why when I go into these designer stores and these places that have expensive pieces, I'm treating it like a thrift store. This is my playground. I'm about to come in here and try on hella shit. I'll come in here and try on mad shit. Like, just to have fun with it, you know what I'm saying? Even if I know damn well I'm not about to pay $500 for something. Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. That's just, like, I don't got no shame in that shit. People be having shame in not being able to afford certain shit. Or people be having shame in uh, going in stores and not being able to buy. Like, bro, nobody give a fuck, bro. Like, nobody cares. The people that work in them stores, bro, if they didn't work there, they would not be buying half of that shit. Because they getting discounts on it and shit. So if they wasn't working there... 
they wouldn't be buying that shit either, bro. So don't even make it seem like, oh, I don't want them to look at me like a certain way, blah, 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 bro. If you're not causing no harm on nobody, if you're not bothering nobody, or if you're not doing, all you're doing is trying on clothes, you're not hurting nobody, bro. Go, go have fun, man. Like, what the fuck? But... Yeah, I do feel like people who thrift have way more swag, though. <laughs> Going back to the topic, I keep saying that, but, like, they do. Just go to a thrift store. I, I encourage anybody to go to a thrift store and just people watch. Just look at all the people that come in there. They got more swag, bro, because they just throwing shit together. They just putting pieces together, bro. And, and this is going to be a whole nother video, like a whole nother topic about, like, what actually is like fly or what actually is a good outfit because all this shit is subjective that's a whole nother conversation i'm gonna have in another video but when you go into a thrift store bro whether you like the outfits or not you can appreciate the the art of it you know what i'm saying you can appreciate the art and the expression is that that's right right expression yeah you can you can appreciate all of that stuff because People use getting dressed as a way to express themselves. Like, I know that's what I do. Like, it just gives you creativity to a whole nother level. It's like, you can kind of understand a person walking down the street with an outfit on before they even say anything to you. You can see the way somebody dress and kind of get an idea of what they're into or what kind of person they are. Sometimes you might be all the way off. Like once you meet them, you wouldn't even believe that this is the person that they are be based on the way they dress. But most of the time you can look at a person's outfit and understand their life to a certain degree and understand like what they like and what they're into or if this person would, if y'all would get along or certain shit like that so that's why i do love clothing and getting dressed and stuff like that um but yeah so i feel like people who thrift they just really are trying to express themselves as much as possible bro like it's just fun like, it really is it's just fun and a person who goes into the store and just buys a shirt that already is this that and the third like an outfit that's already on the mannequin and stuff like that bro that i just they that's not more creative than going somewhere where you have no blueprint at all and you got to figure it out on your own. It's like, you can't tell me that that's not hard. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. I'm not going to talk y'all head off. This was the first episode. Um, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think people who thrift have more swag than people who don't thrift like just think about the people that you know who thrift and then think about the people you know that never thrifted ever in their life and just pay, like analyze their outfits next time you see them and just let me know you know what i'm saying let me know what you discovered from that um and come back to the comments and let me know or even if you already know let me know in the comments below but yeah thank y'all for watching the first episode of forest talks i don't Remember, if I introduced that in the beginning, if I did, you're getting it again. Thank you for watching the first episode of Forest Talks. This is going to be really, really fun. Um, yeah, just got like a lot of topics that I'm going to talk about. Also, give me some topics that y'all think I should talk about. I want to know what y'all want me to talk about. I'll definitely uh, talk about whatever y'all think is cool or whatever y'all think is interesting. I'll talk about those things as well. So, Thanks for coming, stopping by the first Force Talks episode. Um, I'm like I said, I repeat it again. I'm dropping every Monday and every Thursday at 5 p.m. LA time, or isn't that like Pacific Standard Time? Whatever the hell that is, 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday, not Monday through Thursday, Monday and Thursday, give y'all something to look forward to watching. Um, this is something I could stay consistent with. And yeah, man, this is the Force Talks podcast. I'll see y'all in the next episode. You dig.